So that's what I want to do. Um, I want to I be a part of the amazing changes that are coming to Canadian Christian music. Hey guys, I am back. It's been longer than I hoped it would be. Uh, it's now May and you know, new look for a, a few different projects that I've got going on. Um, but it's a really, really exciting time and I'm really excited to be back here on YouTube sharing with you guys. And today I want to share with you uh, the reason why I do some of the things that I do, why I'm continuing this YouTube project. So this month of May, 20 years ago was the first time I ever sat down at a kit and the first time I ever played drums at the church I was attending at the time. Um, it was May of 1999 um, and I was nine years old at the time. I was gonna be 10 later on that year. And it's been 20 years of me playing music. You know, started on drums and moved to uh, piano and guitar and, and you know, by consequence, you learn to play uh, bass. Over the course of 20 years, you learn a lot, you grow a lot, you experience a lot, and uh, across all genres, settings, you know, people, denominations, even in the church world, you it just encounter so much in 20 years. And to uh, do that not as an adult, but, you know, that being your formative experience as you grow up, uh, it's... It's a really, really special thing, uh, in my opinion. And it all started uh, back in May, 20 years ago, you know, playing the first time and, and sitting at a kit and being a musician for the first time. Um, I'll, I'll never forget that feeling, and that was exciting in and of itself. Uh, but a few months later, in November of 99, I happened to meet a guy who didn't mean anything to me at the time, but he ended up being one of my greatest musical influences for a long time, and I still admire him, and I still look up to him. Um, Emanuel Espinosa, I, I met him when Marcos Witt came to Toronto in 99, and they, were, they weren't just doing a, a worship nights, they were also doing workshops, music workshops, and for whatever reason, I signed up for the bass workshop, and I didn't even play bass at the time. I was just like, you know, whatever, signing up for something different. And, you know, in a small group of about maybe eight people, he singled me out because I was the only one under the age of 20. Um, and he learned my name, and, you know, we, we kind of had this, this small chat. And um, anyway, long story short, I didn't know who he was at the time. It really wasn't one of those major interactions, except that when I started to read all the liner notes on the Marco Sweet records, his name was everywhere. Like, playing credits, writing credits, production credits, um, you know, you name it. He, his name was there somewhere for, you know, over 10 or, or 12 years uh, of Marco Sweet's career. He was there, he was involved, and he was a huge influential figure. And I knew at that moment, um, you know, at the end of 99, being 10 years old, I knew exactly what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And so 20 years later, here we are. Uh, I'm gonna be 30 this year. I've been playing music for 20 years and I wouldn't wanna do anything else. Still don't wanna do anything else. So over the course of, you know, these 20 years, I've wanted to do so much and some of the things I have accomplished, some of the things I haven't accomplished, um, but for the last number of years, I've been really, really wanting to be a part of uh, a movement that I see happening in Canada, and that's you know bringing Canadian Christian music uh, to the next level, to a higher level. You know, helping Canadian Christian musicians and artists come out from under the shadow of uh, the American scene. You know, so artists don't feel like they need to go south of the border to get an amazing sounding record or to, or to uh, gain recognition, you know, or even to get more radio play or, or to end up on uh, playlists on Spotify or Apple Music or whatever you listen to music on. Uh, so I want to help the Christian music scene in Canada just grow to a level that is all our own, uh, grow into who we are as Canadians and, and what that means for us as Canadian Christian musicians. But you know, I also want to help the churches, the local churches, small, medium-sized churches that might not have uh, the resources or um, the tools that all the big churches have, and, and I want to help them enjoy and explore creative options to to find their voice and to find uh, the expression of the ministry that they can do to their people in their context in their community. So to help churches grow in their quality and excellence in worship, not just 
musically but but theologically and you know what are we teaching our churches about what we believe what are we teaching our churches about who God is you know the Canadian church has uh, a voice that's all our own um, we have issues that we need to speak to as churches and as artists that are unique to the Canadian culture and even across this country uh, and musically I mean we have sounds and genres that are all our own that we need to explore that need to get more recognition you know um, I, I don't want to say this on the internet but Nashville has a great sound and, and contemporary Christian music you know CCM has a great sound but it's very American and uh, there's a Canadian sound that needs to be heard you know there's a Canadian sound that's fairly different that I think would resonate in some of the areas that it that Christian music isn't reaching right now. Um, and so I just want to help artists and churches explore that and embrace that, um, and, and the listening audience also to help embrace that. And so there's already so much uh, great music coming from Canadian artists and churches, and it's getting louder and, and uh, you know, for fear of, of missing a few artists or churches that are putting out music here in Canada, I don't want to mention any, but you know who you are. They know who they are. You know who they are. But there's some great, great music coming out and it's only getting louder. Our voice as a Canadian church is only getting louder. So I want to jump in and do my part to help our voice resound. So what I'm hoping to do on this show as it evolves is, is continue to do the format that I have been doing, you know, some worship tutorials or ideas, uh, just kind of talking head type stuff. Um, but also I want to, I want to bring on some special guests and uh, do interviews with artists or worship pastors, um, you know, from, from different denominations. Uh, have some theological conversations for those that are interested in that. Um, but also bring you tools and resources for artists and churches, bring you rants and so many more things um, that, that will hopefully encourage and uplift and build up the church so we can continue to create great art uh, and great music for the kingdom. So if this is something that interests you, uh, I just want to in invite you again to join me on this journey. Uh, so if you haven't already done so, please go ahead and subscribe and even hit the bell to be notified of when videos go live. Um, and while you're subscribing, you might as well hit the thumbs up button, give the video a like, um, and show your support of what's already happening and uh, what's yet to come in the Canadian Christian music scene. So thank you so much for uh, joining in and thanks for being so patient with me as I've been away for a number of weeks. We'll see you guys very soon with some great, great content. So exciting.